不可避免的一件事情就要发生，那就是说，机器人将会走进一个普通的家庭，去照顾这个家庭的一位老者。China's elderly population above 60 years of age reached more than 241 million last year, almost one fifth of the country's population. But there are only 300,000 care workers in China. This has meant China has had to find alternatives. Today I'm here in Shenyang City to meet one of China's, well, I think, the biggest robot manufacturer, Siasu. Let's go find out more. Thank you for having us. Welcome to Siasu. Right. Thank you. This is Thank my you. colleague, the Big White. Today I came to see a prototype robot named Jia Bao, meaning home baby, that the company says can take care of elderly people. So much so that it has been sold to local private nursing homes. Hello. Hello, Jia Bao. Jia Bao, Jia Bao twice. Ah, Jia Bao, Jia Bao. Hello. Jia Bao, Jia Bao. Turn this way. There we go. It's turning towards me. And you can call her over within a five meter range, which I think at home is quite convenient. Now, where are we going? I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't know. She also pointed out that Jia Bao can help you get in touch with your family or essential services like hospitals in case of an emergency. There you go. Okay. It's almost like a FaceTime or it's it's a WeChat, isn't it? With a video call. Hello. So can she see us? Can she see? Let me give her a wave. Hi. Hello. Hello. I almost feel like this is like an iPad. <laughs> it but can it, move. Yeah, it but the only move. difference is that you can move. Yes. Yeah. So it's very useful. And would I buy one? I'll put, I would probably think the answer would be yes. I would buy one for the price. So it's good enough. Bye bye. Besides my first impression, functions like voice recognition still needs work. But are the robots good enough to meet the nursing shortages? Chief Product Engineer Dr. Tian is the man behind the robots. He says the nursing robots are filling a much-needed gap. We want to know what their thoughts are. Their thoughts are very simple. First, we need to stop the nursing robots. Second, we need to stop the nursing robots. Third, we need to stop the nursing robots. Fourth, we need to stop the nursing robots. Fifth, we need to stop the nursing robots. Sixth, we need to stop the nursing robots. Seventh, we need to stop the nursing robots. Eighth, we need to stop the nursing robots. Ninth, we need to stop the nursing robots. Good. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah, and my back is much better now after lying down for a few minutes. It became clear that you can only do a handful of functions with supervision, but can they replace human nurses? We are making robots. The main purpose is to help people to do the most important work of taking care of the elderly. The robot's appearance helps him to work. So, if the robot is one person, it can help ten people. 护理人员就可以照顾十个或者说几十个这种这种老人。那么说，从劳动的生产率上讲是提高了，从这个照护理人员的这种数量上讲也是降低了。至于说是能不能完全的不依赖人，完全的智能化，在十年之内是做不到的。So for now, maybe we should call them cobots rather than robots. 你比如说用在日常生活中的机器人，它其实能做的功能性的工作，甚至不如一个六岁的小孩。I think our relationship can be defined by a "help me, help you" mantra. But how smart can they be in the future? What is the future for robots? For robots like Jia Bao? For example, now there is already an appearance that uses human thoughts, or human thoughts, to direct the actions of the machine. These machines are already present. 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 These machines are 直接转化成对对机器人的这种控制的这种指令，从而让机器人去完成某种特定的动作。Oh, it's going up straight away. Okay. Now I need to make a stop. 随着应用技术的发展，它的这种功能性在得到不断的提高，它的思想也会不断的这个进化啊，思想上更加这个聪明。所以啊。我的想法就是，未来十年之内，不可避免的一件事情就要发生，那就是说，机器人将会走进一个普通的家庭，去照顾这个家庭的一位老者。I think central to what we're talking about, which is the kind of safety or security issues, actually trust. 
you know, trust between a human and a robot. As a human being, can I trust a robot? At the moment, maybe not, because robot is something that I can't control, because it's something that's programmed, I think. So, how do you solve this issue of, for example, my concern is that they can be hacked, in, and then someone, someone else can control it, and then they can do maybe possibly a lot of damage. So, what's your response to people who say that they can be hacked? 啊，如何避免这种缺陷造成对人体的伤害？这需要我们从这个设计上进行避免。嗯，比如说，如果说出现了一些远程不可控的情况，我们需要对机器人的动作进行停止。这需要我们的，呃，我们的设计者充分的考虑到各种不同的情况，应用现有的技术来解决这些问题。So the future looks bright, but it depends on different variables that start with technology progression. I'm Josh. Stay tuned with China Matters.